Hi everybody, um, thanks for joining me again. Now, I've been asked a really interesting question about a common antidepressant. I was wondering if you know why the side effects of SSRIs can be permanent after stopping. This is called PSSD. I still have low libido, what can I do? I mean, it's a really sad question. Now, firstly, for other viewers, an SSRI is an antidepressant that is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. And it's used really commonly, I can't tell you how commonly, and widely for depression. Common names that you might recognize are Prozac, Citalopram, Sertraline. Now, sadly, this is a really interesting question to which the answer is yes, the side effects of SSRIs can actually continue for long after you stop taking them. And as the viewer who asked me this question rightly said, this is known as post SSRI sexual dysfunction. And it's very sad. And it's not often spoke about, spoken about, apologies. So low libido is a very common symptom of depression. We see it all of the time, but it is also one of the side effects of the drugs that we're using to treat depression, which is also quite sad. It's one of the problems that SSRIs are meant to help on the assumption that if you cure the depression, the libido will return. However, as SSRIs often, and I say often because I see it in my daily practice, cause low libido, sexual dysfunction, as a known side effect. I don't think we, and by we I mean us, the doctors who are giving them out, give enough thought as to whether the SSRI will really solve the problem, will really solve the depression, and the evidence on this is really mixed and quite scant, and whether it will exacerbate or solve the low libido. I also think that doctors tend to underappreciate the importance of sexual relationships and the desire and ability to have sex in terms of maintaining good mental health. And it's critical, it really is. So we have a real hodgepodge of problems here that are all interconnected. Now there are some interesting papers about this, not a lot because this syndrome was only recognized officially in 2019. There is one which is an interesting dissection of the problem itself and of the problems not taking this particular side effects of SSRI seriously. I'm going to put that paper in the comments afterwards so you can read it for yourself. It is called Please Stop Bullshitting Patients. And basically they're saying that because psychiatrists are scared that people won't take their SSRIs, if they think it causes sexual dysfunction, they don't want to talk about it. But I'm afraid we have to. And in terms of treatment for this problem, once it occurs, I'm afraid I can't find anything for it at the moment. In 2019, the condition was recognized, as I mentioned. And I guess from that, the fact that it's now a recognized condition means that there is a hope that more research will be done and we'll find what the cause is and something that we can reverse it. Again, there's another very good paper on this that I found, which I will put into the comments below. But I think it's really important as doctors that we do tell people that this is a major side effect that can happen. It's really important. So what can we do now? Are there any natural remedies for this? Well, there are natural remedies for low libido. They're hard to assess, obviously, because again, it's, it's a natural remedy. But quite a big 2015 review study found that maca, tribulus, ginkgo bil biloboa, can never say that, and ginseng might help with low libido. Whether it will help after this scenario, I don't know. And I always would recommend you speak to a doctor first. Overall, I would always recommend tackling all of the other areas in life that might be contributing to depression and try and improve those and therefore the depression without medication if possible. I can honestly say as a doctor that yes, some people are helped, but most people I don't think antidepressants really do anything for. 
I'm putting a really good summary in medical news today below about the herbal remedies that can help with low libido. There is of course St John's wort, which some people use for depression, um, but again I can't vouch for that and you should check before taking it. I'm sorry that I actually don't have an answer to this, but hopefully to anyone who's suffering, things will improve over time and the research will deliver something new for you. But in the meantime, please try and make sure that if you are feeling down, even though you don't want to crawl out from under the duvet or the bed, the best thing you can do for it is to go for a walk, be out amongst greenery, get fresh air, do some exercise, however, you know, mild or vigorous, whatever you want to do, socialize, have a good friendship ring around you and try and find the ways in lifestyle to overcome that problem. Obviously, if it is a severe chemical depression, then you'll need an antidepressant, but make them the last resort because there are some serious side effects and there are answers that we don't yet have. Um, please look at all the links below because I've popped those papers in there. And um, thank you for sending me a, such an interesting question and I hope you find a solution soon. Take care. Bye.